Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo, and today I'm going to show you two hidden ways to unlock your Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. The first way is called Smart Lock. It's a way that you're able to bypass your lock screen when you're at a safe location or connected to a safe Bluetooth device. So let's say you want to go inside of your settings, you're going to scroll down to where it says lock screen. And then underneath here, you want to go inside of Smart Lock. Now, if you have a PIN or a password, this is where you type in your credentials. Now, once inside of Smart Lock, you have four different options, but the one that we're going to talk about for this video is trusted devices. The other three are okay to use, but this one has no hiccups and it's perfect. And anytime I'm connected to anything that is a trusted device, it works every single time. Now, there's two different devices that are connected right now. There are two different speakers that are really only at my house. So I know for a fact, if I'm connected via Bluetooth, I'm at a safe location, safe place with safe people, and it's okay for my phone to not have a lock screen. Now, if you want to add a trusted device, so let's say that we want to add in my Galaxy Buds. Now, this will really come in handy because if you listen to these things when you're at work or if you're at the gym or if you're connected to your Bluetooth in your car, you don't have to go through your lock screen and it makes it simple and more safe. So let's just go through and connect it to the Galaxy Buds. So I'm going to choose Galaxy Buds, it's going to be added as a trusted device. And anytime that now I'm connected, I will not have the lock screen. So as of right now, the Galaxy Buds is connected, but it's not paired up. You can see that I am now on my lock screen. So let's say that we just go inside of the phone. I'm going to open this thing up. Once it gets paired up, then what I'm going to show you is now you don't have a lock screen. So if you're at the gym and you don't want to keep doing your lock screen credentials, or if you're connected at home and you just want it to be super simple and fast and easy, Easy. You might have to unlock it once, but right after that, because you're still paired and connected, it's always going to be unlocked by the smart lock. Now, the reason why you have to unlock it first is because let's say that you do just have your buds with you. Somebody opens it up right next to you, then it's a way that they're able to get into your phone. But once you unlock it the first initial time, it will always stay unlocked as you are using those buds. The moment I close this up, the screen will lock. So let's say that you are connected to your Bluetooth device and maybe you're walking away from your cell phone at the moment and you got your kids around or maybe your friends and more guests came. And let's just say for some reason you want to lock down your phone for until you come on back. If you tap on that little lock button, now you have to use your credentials. So now from here on out, until I put in my credentials, it's going to stay locked. But once I use my biometrics, we are right back to where we were. So it just makes it really nice and simple and safe, especially especially if you're in a car or at a gym. And if you're around something that is a trusted device, you don't need your lock screen anymore. You're not in the wild, you're not on a subway, you're not at work around anybody that would want to get into your phone. Now that we're done with that, let's close this one on up. And you're gonna notice that now when I try to go back into the phone, it will be locked. And now we're right back to where we started. Now let's talk about the second way to unlock your phone and that is via your S Pen. So let's say that you are playing with your phone and I'm just gonna go into my display. I'm gonna turn my timeout for 15 seconds so it doesn't really last that long. But let's say that you're using your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus. You have your S Pen out, you've been using it, you've been writing, you've been coloring, taking notes, whatever you walk away you go to the kitchen your screen times out you still have that s pen that is out which means that you are around your phone and once you hit on that s pen button once it'll unlock the phone for you now how you're able to turn on this setting is just go inside of your settings then you can go inside of your advanced features and as you scroll down you're gonna look where it says s pen and then inside of S Pen, this is where you can unlock it with the S Pen remote. So you can either have it on or you can have it off. It's a way that if your phone locks on you while you're using the S Pen, you're still able to just press the button once and get into your phone. Now, this is not really recommended for every single person out there. For me, anybody that's around my phone, I do trust. Now, what's going to happen though, is if you hit on your power button and then you, you turn it right back on, uh, it's not going to work because it was something that you initially, you know, you pressed with your thumb. It's a way that if your screen times out, so it's not like if you hit on your power button, it's going to lock it. It's just that if your screen times out because you're using it, you walked away for a second, you went to the restroom, you grabbed the popcorn. Uh, and by the time that you came back, maybe it was just a couple minutes later and you wanted to go back to using your phone more than likely you're around your device because your S Pen is still out, meaning it's still in use. And then this is how you can unlock your phone. Now, what I do want to say is let's say that your S Pen was inserted into the phone. You hit on your little power button, or even if it timed out, 
if you pull out the S Pen, your phone knows that it is now out. And if I hit on the button, you still have to go through all the different credentials. So if you're trying to get into the device and you're trying to get through it and you know you pull out the S Pen hoping that you can get inside of it, you're really not able to. So there we go, guys. That is two hidden ways or maybe two ways you forgot you can unlock your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, either by being connected to a trusted Bluetooth device or if your screen times out with your S Pen still ejected, you are able to get into the phone by pressing on the button. But if you guys like this video, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. You subscribe here on the very bottom left hand side, this little circle. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you